The treatment of diabetes is currently focused on lowering blood glucose to reduce the risk of complications, particularly microvascular complications of diabetes. There are also treatment approaches to reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease in people at high risk or with established cardiovascular or kidney disease. Not everybody with type 2 diabetes has obesity, but most people with type 2 diabetes do have abnormally functioning fat cells or unhealthy fat. Uh, that's what's driving the, the metabolic process that's resulting in the diabetes. In people whose diabetes is primarily driven by unhealthy fat, these are people who would uh, benefit from prioritising weight management in the treatment of their diabetes. So that means not using just medications that control the blood glucose, but thinking about which medications might also help with the weight management and what other interventions might help with their, mate, their weight management, such as lifestyle interventions, changes in diet, changes in physical activity, and prioritising medications that are going to both treat their diabetes but also help them reduce weight. We need to be thinking about this in the majority of our patients with diabetes because most of them, even if they don't have obesity as defined by a body mass index above 30, most of them will have uh, their unhealthy adipose tissue contributing to their disease process. Over the last few years, it's become much easier to treat people with diabetes and excess weight with medications that are becoming increasingly available, increasingly effective at managing both the weight, the diabetes, and other aspects of the metabolic health. So we need to be considering the weight impact of the, of the treatment program that we use in our patients with diabetes and to be prioritizing helping them with their weight management as well as focusing on treating the diabetes.